Hey guys, what's going on? It is Vic Barry. Today's video, how to do a banger of a transition involving a wave, either from my footage or your very own footage. And by the way, this video is sponsored by my good friends at Epidemic Sound. So let's jump into Premiere Pro. By the way, just speaking of software, this will work in DaVinci or whatever you're using. The ID is the exact same here. So let my head should be, let's go, Premiere Pro. Move, head, yeah, okay. You need some drone footage, okay? You need a wave, a view of a wave top down, just like this. So we can see this here is in Premiere Pro and it's all kind of moving along really, really nice. And what we want to do is make a transition which is going to reveal what's behind the wave or kind of visually what's underneath the wave. And this couldn't be easier. Now, if you get kind of stuck here, pause the video. Go back, watch what I'm doing again, right? And if you're completely stuck, don't worry, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna hook you up. Now to start this, there's a couple of things. First off, we have our drone clip here, which we need to have highlighted. This is hugely important. Then what we're gonna do is make sure we are in 25%, or this could be a little bit more depending on your computer, depending on the view, depending on the clip, but I'm going for 25% here. And I'm gonna select the pen icon, okay? Now, the reason I'm selecting the pen icon is this is going to allow us to mask or remove what's underneath what we're selecting once we join up all the, the dots. I'm going to have start here, go kind of right across, kind of in the middle, the break of the wave here. So we've got something to work with and I'm going to drag this way out. So that's why we're at 25%. So we're way outside of the actual footage itself. And this is going to be really, really useful because if we weren't, we could have some glitches with the actual transition when you get to the final finished product. Because if these were kind of, why am I pointing at the screen? If these here, <laughs> so if these here were too close to here, then the feather and stuff, which we're going to talk about, which is the real secret sauce to this, would screw things up. So we can see your red background here behind us, or this would be the photo or the video that you're trying to reveal. So for visually, I'm just using red here so we can see what's going on. If you forget this button, no matter what you do, it's all going to be screwed up. So let's select the stopwatch icon here, which is also known as the toggle animation. So this is on mask path. And if we click mask one here, we can get our lines back. So once we start moving along, we want this to follow the wave. So I'm just gonna drag it down here. And see, if we didn't have this turned on, these would move. Now you kind of got to pick your spot and pick your battle and each wave is going to be different. But this is roughly what I'm doing here. Now I want to speed this up, right? Because you don't want to be listening to me and I'll get to the secret sauce next. Once we've got the mask moving the way that we want, and it doesn't take that long. Yes, I know it's tedious, but it doesn't take that long. It's click, click, move, adjust, click, click, move, adjust, and that's it. The magic here, let's kind of zoom in here. Let's go to fit. And as we can see, once the red comes down, it is very sharp up here and it doesn't look cool, right? So what we want to do here is use something called mask feather. So mask feather kind of blurs everything out and feathers your actual mask. And there we go. Now here's the thing to keep an eye out for, right? If this is very tight here, you can see the feather is actually causing all kinds of problems. If we zoom in and if we go even 150% and we press H, the hand tool, we can see up here, there's some of the red bleeding in and that's because of the feather. So these little dotted lines here show the feather. So what we wanna do is we need to push this up. Let's press V. And as you can see, as long as these are outside the scope, you're good to go. So you can push these up just another little bit. And again, keep in mind, stopwatch icon on, Premiere will track everything that you do. If you have something like a sandy color underneath this, it kind of gives the illusion that it's a beach that it's revealing, but it could be something else entirely. But just keep in mind that color really helps here, like this example. Depending on the wave, if it moves faster, the better because the masking is going to be really kind of open to scrutiny if it's going too slow. And this wave is kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit, but you can see with the mask, it works very, very well. And of course you can speed things up. So that is how to do that. Now, if you have done this far, you will probably know drone footage is silent for the best part. Not many drones, at least ones with really good quality like this, they don't record any audio. So what you do, that's where I jump into Epidemic Sound, by the way, which are the sponsors of today's video. They have got an absolute ton 
of sound effects all right he frees some of the best sound effects on the planet and we're talking tens of thousands of sound effects and i guarantee you you will find the way that you need there like it sounds like this so we can go from footage that looks like this to this put in some seabirds put in whatever you want so sound of course helps hugely so big thanks to epidemic sound for being the sponsors of this part of the video now if you've made it this far and you're thinking to yourself yeah Vic, all this is good uh why is it so complicated here's the thing i've left a link in the description where you can pick up this particular wave this particular premiere sequence and it's good to go and i've also included vertical video so if you want to do kind of a vertical video transition for something like instagram that's there too link is in the description i'll see you on the next video and until then don't stop fighting for yourself <laughs>